Good morning guys, I'm in New York City. I tried to vlog my trip yesterday from Kenya to New York, but on the leg from Turkey to New York, I had my cameras taken off me because there's this high security alert at the moment, so laptops and cameras can't be taken on as, as hand luggage. Anyway, I didn't have much of a vlog, so I just thought I'd cut straight to today. I'm in New York for two days. I've met with Raya, I've just left the hotel and I've come down to B&H because I am going to be collecting a new laptop today which will be capable of rendering 4K video and I'm going to start vlogging in 4K so that's, uh, that's the thing I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm super excited. So let's, uh, let's head in before they close. They close early on a Friday. There's a few other things I need to collect whilst I'm here. One is I'm hoping I'm going to get a new uh, protective cover for my Mavic the camera protector and also I want to see if I can get a little red filter for underwater filming with the, the new GoPro because my old filter doesn't fit on it. So for those of you that haven't seen any vlogs before where I'm in b &H, this is basically the best camera store in the world. I'm in the drone section right now. Look at this, just so many options. And then this is the VR area. There's like loads of VR rigs and stuff. All right, I'm trying to find a mouse that will work with a PC laptop, like the Mavic mouse. Hmm, so many options. Thanks a lot. Guys, my new laptop. I'm so excited. I am making the jump, as I mentioned, from MacBook to a, a Dell XPS 15. I've been looking at it for a few months. Um, I looked at some different laptops when I was in Dubai in December, and I had some advice from other PC users that are my friends. But really, the fact is that the new MacBook Pro just doesn't cut it when it comes to like raw power for editing. So I'm hoping that this Dell machine is going to be uh, going to be pretty epic. left the hotel. I'm with Raya and her sister Divna. How you doing Raya? Yeah, good. <laughs> we realised we haven't seen each other for almost two weeks. Yeah. Um, but we are going to the Dominican Republic tomorrow which we're both very excited yeah, about. So why don't you ask me to do 50 or 60 dollars? Okay, we couldn't find the place on our map because it was underground in the subway station so we just come down into the 59th Street subway station and it's like awesome down here. It's like a, a little market. Guys, we just got our lunch and coffee. Check this out. This is an interactive game just in the subway station. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, straight away I got it. Okay, I'm just getting the hang of it. not have mentioned yet today guys but it is scorchingly hot I cannot believe this is May in New York it feels like the peak of summer yay picnic oh. yeah remember the last time I went for a cycle ride in Central Park. Today is the perfect day for cycling. I think Central Park's big enough that even if you've been there a few times you can keep on exploring and finding new parts of it. crazy as well. I still haven't ridden a booster board through Central Park and this would be like the best spot to do it. 
I've ridden skateboards for a few times, but a boosted would be incredible. Unfortunately, one of mine's in LA and the other one's in London. Right, Devna needs to head off to work. Me and Raya are gonna continue exploring. I love that there's this little area of tranquility in Manhattan because I think one of the things I struggle with when visiting New York is the pace. It's a little bit stressful for me. I think maybe it's something that grows on you, but when I'm just coming for a few days or even a week, sometimes it's just a bit overwhelming. But coming into Central Park's like proper chill. especially in the summer. my thinking with the recording in 4k now obviously most of you are watching my vlogs on your phone and those of you that are watching on your kind of laptops or desktops are probably not watching in 4k you might be watching in 4k if you're watching from your TV however these videos hopefully are going to be staying on YouTube for like decades so my thinking is in the future if I don't start recording everything in 4k I'm going to look back and be like, oh, why didn't I record 4K? Because by then we'll all have like 4K, like 3D VR headsets and be watching all our YouTube videos on those probably. So that's my thinking. I'm future-proofing my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, upping the quality. Only problem is at the moment, none of my cameras shoot over 30 frames a second of 4K. So I can't do any slow-mo unless I get like a... 1DX2 or a GH5, but I'm sticking with Sony, so we just have to hope one of their cameras that comes out soon does 4K at 60. rented are the New York City bikes. They're a little bit like the, the Boris bikes in London. So conveniently we can just take these straight back to where our hotel is because there's a docking station right there. That was a nice little that was a nice little ride. It is crazily hot so I don't think we could survive much longer. Pretty exhausting isn't it? Yeah and I've been doing soul cycle every day this week. So you may have seen six weeks ago when I was here with JP and we were down at B&H checking out equipment for the World Flight documentary like microphones and cameras where they're actually sorting us out some equipment including upgrades to our laptops which we're going to need for editing before the trip as well we're going to be documenting some of the kind of uh, you know prep and getting ready and stuff so I'm actually posting a laptop to JP in LA. I'm hoping I can overnight it to him. But this is the, the new MacBook Pro. He's chosen to stick with Mac. And like I said earlier, I've chosen to go back to PC. I haven't used a PC in probably, probably like, I don't know, like eight or nine years. So we'll see how it goes. Sweet. There's a few mice here, none of these are the one. Hmm. Oh, maybe this one. This might be the guy. Okay, so this little guy is the one I saw online that I thought would be a good option, but this, check this out. This is the, the mouse that Microsoft have designed to use with Microsoft Surface, but it'll, use, it'll work with the Dell PC as well. But check this out, to travel. It goes completely flat and then you just bend it into position 
and then it's wireless, Bluetooth. Check that out. And then you've got two-way scrolling. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is innovation right here. Right, it is time to unbox my new computer. I'm very excited about this. Ooh. Mmm. That is looking nice. Well, unlike the new MacBook Pro, it's got an SD card reader, HDMI, two USB ports, and a USC port, USB C. It's touch screen. Oh my gosh, it's touch screen. Yeah, it's touch screen. Oh, my screen's gonna get so dirty. It seems like it's gonna take me a while to set this up properly. I don't want to bore you guys with me sitting here for the next hour, um, just downloading all the software I need and all that kind of stuff. Realistically, I'm gonna have to do a proper review probably either tomorrow or the next day when I have a chance to like install everything, get my files over and edit a vlog and then I'll be able to talk about the render time, how much quicker it is, whether I've been able to edit this 4K footage successfully. Uh, I'll give you a full on, full on review in a couple of days. Anyway, it's been a productive day, it's been fun and uh, tomorrow we're going to be rushing around in the morning to get a few things sorted and then, yeah, catching our flight to the Dominican Republic. It's gonna be really nice. I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but we may be staying in a tree house next week, which is gonna be epic. But anyway, I will catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.